Hi everyone, this is Boris. Welcome to another video of Sketchman Draw. So we're going to look at another comic, but this time uh, it's translated in English, but it's still bon dessiné. So it's a French comic uh, by Jacques Loeb and Jean-Marc Pochette, Snowpiercer. So I was um, exposed to Snowpiercer, of course, where through the um, <clears throat> uh, film by Boon Jin Ho, starring Chris Evans. Um, um, Tilda Swinton, who's like really great in that. <laughs> um, and this is like published by Titan, Titan Comics. Um, so it's written by Jacques Loeb, um, art by Jean-Marc Rochette, and uh, lettering by Gabriela Houston. And so uh, one of the like, th there are several things that were appealing to me. And and actually, sorry, I'm not I'm not going to like. Uh, I was trying to cover the whole book, but I was just like, hmm, I don't know. I don't know if it's the right thing to do because um, I, th I think you need to look at a closer look at um, the panels. Um, and again, if um, because if you want to buy it, you just ha you can just go buy it. And because I don't think um, I think showing the full page maybe. Uh, we'll ruin it. Um, I know it goes against comic book art because the page, it's um, as well as the panel, is a one uh, piece of art. But let's try. Let me try something different uh, this time. So so far, I've read the first book and the second book. Um, they are, there's also a third book that I'm planning on buying because I I really love it, and that's why I want to make this video to recommend you guys and. Um, my uh, reason for, because I, I've known about this, I'm, I'm known about this uh, comic, uh, Dystopian Future, the, I really love the idea of, um, of this, and um, because I love Dystopian Future. Uh, but um, I think just looking at the art uh, made me uh, buy it, because when... Um, I'm actually at the mo in the moment uh, at in the moment <laughs> I'm, is one of the comic projects that I'm drawing with, uh, with uh, written by a friend is a vampire story. I'm not going to say anything more about that, but I remember um, you know you, you want to do in, you want to make like drawing comics interesting for yourself. So I was um, look how good that looks. Um, I wanted to do this because I was inspired by Tardy, uh, Jacques Tardy. Um, because he, in, in his comic, it will be like white and then there will be gray and then the blacks, right? So it's not screen. I mean, I guess it's, I mean, I don't know, maybe it's screen tone because I'm, because yeah, I think it is screen tone, but I was just like, okay, without using the screen tone, why, why, like, I'm, I'm just going to use gray and, uh, to create this kind of, like um, different layers and different levels of depth. Um, and seeing this um, kind of motivated me a lot. Like, and, um, while working on that, like, look how good that looks. And now look at this, this is... And even the format, like the, the page format is like a bit interesting, it's not purely European because Europeans have these long uh, pages where um, there are um, four tiers, right? Like so, like the Tintin one, like, you know, Ayashi, which is the example that everybody takes. And the story is like, and I, you know, I'm, I'm a French national. I've studied French, actually. I did my high studies in France and Europe. And... I love philosophy, I read philosophy and philosophers, and there is this um, existential um, threat that only, I think, French can express, in a way, <laughs> that, you, that I find in this uh, one. And actually, you can still read, like, a book, like, a, like the one, this book has, like, a complete arc, um, and it kind of... Uh, uh, reminded me of um, Twilight Zone a little bit, um, and you'll see why if you read this. Um, 
Another thing that was really inspired that I'm totally stealing from my comic book, which is the this um, kind of omniscious, uh, omniscient, omniscient narrator. Like, yeah, like the, this kind of uh, narrator that you never see, but is kind of watching over uh, all of it. And uh, I just, I just love that. So I stole that completely for my comic called Counting Sheep, by the way, uh, coming soon. I'll keep you updated on that. Um, and, uh, it's just like the, 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 the art fits so much like the story. So the, so for, for like a rough, I mean, for those who don't know, Snowpiercer is basically a train that, um, is like, um, uh, a Snowpiercer basically just, uh, traveling around without any destination around the planet, which is now covered in ice uh, because of uh, like uh, apocalypse and uh, probably because of uh, global warming and like a global catastrophe and it's basically the the lives of people who live in it and the, the people who live in it are not all the same because it's divided into different classes just like like a train you have first class but so it's also of course um, uh, <clears throat> uh, sorry um, divided into classes as in social class. And so this um, uh, is like uh, one person get, manages to um, like make it to the superior class from the second class to the, and basically he becomes the attention of uh, everyone. Um, and, uh, and, and so, and this one is like, is so, Good. Like it, uh, you can f really feel the cross. Like you are in the train. Like it's, um, like there are no like bright, uh, um, open air. It's like you you are in the train and it just like you're just traveling with them. And I really love it because I love uh, stories that take pl takes place in train. I love trains actually because uh, it just feel like there. I don't know. There's something about very charming about train travels and um so yeah it's and and basically what happens and how this guy coming into this reveals uh the information about uh, what's really going on politically uh socially like you know and, and um and it is really interesting and i really loved it and i'm like i said i i bought the i read the second one and I'm going to buy the third one. So the so this is the first one is um is called uh, the the escape. So this is book one. Um. So the book two, this is uh, the explorers, and uh, book three is uh, terminus. This one. And um, I think so. Actually, um, the uh, the person. Uh, who I think wrote it, passed away, if I'm not mistaken, I need to recheck that again. Sorry, I don't know if it's, I think it's the writer who passed away. But um, so another writer took over and I think they did some prequels, which uh, I don't know if they're good or not. Um, I'll buy them if I have the budget, but otherwise I won't, of course. <laughs> so this is, this is not a use, I usually buy it. So I, I found this in the used bookstore. Um, and then when I found this, I'm trying to think, did I find this in, found this in the book? Okay. Yeah. I found the first book in the used bookstore and then I bought the new, the second, uh, book and I'm planning on buying the third one. Um, it's really exciting. Um, as someone who wants to make comics, makes, wants to make a living out of comics, um, sounds bad with living out of comics. It's just, I love telling stories through drawings and comics are the best art form for me uh, to do that. So um, I've also, you know, wanted to be a filmmaker and, uh, you know, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> but, um, um, and, and, it, and I want uh, more people to read comics. I'm, I'm, I'm going to start like a comic book club uh, here in Bangkok. So it's just to, kind of sniff out the people who like um, <laughs> comic books. And um, yeah, so I hope uh, if you are looking for like a dystopian future or like a French comic book that you want to discover, you can, it's not, it's not overly crazy. Um, 
sci-fi. If you, I mean, by the way, I really love that, but it's still like very grounded and very realistic. I, I have, I'm not going to say like uh, there, there wasn't any, um, like everything is believable and uh, there is nothing that is out of the world that they have built. Um, yeah. So yeah, so check it out, Snowpiercer. Um, I'm sure the three books are great, and especially if you like uh, that kind of dreadful <laughs> science fiction. Um, I kind of like both of them. I just like uh, science fiction in general. And um, so um, I hope you enjoyed this video. So please like uh, and share and subscribe. And this is Boris for Sketchman Draws signing off.